All right, super late model time, early early afternoon race, three o'clock in the afternoon, three fifteen. So, uh, not sure what type of uh, thing we're gonna get here. Something set up. Okay. So, um, hopefully, it's not too bad of a race. Kind of ass sky right now. We're in the number four. Tracy and Mitch are in here, so that ruins everything for me. Hoping for an easy race, but uh, not gonna happen. And then, um, oh, had another viewer that was in practice, but apparently he's not racing. So, uh, or I'm. Already have forgotten his name, but it doesn't look like he's in here. So, here's how prepared I am. Uh, the setup that we had for Five Flags that I s changed up a bit for Stafford, I'm pretty much using without any changes. So, <laughs> um, that tells you we're just we loaded the car up from Stafford and uh, put an extra click of fuel in it. That is what we're running. Will it be quick? It might be quick enough to not get beat by a 400 I rated guy. I hope. I'm hoping with the extra banking that it'll stay looser. And I've been struggling with that. Anytime I put just one more click of fuel in it, the ass end just wants to over rotate on landing. And it is completely screwing me. But I gotta try and see what we can get to. Get into the run a bit. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's a single click. I have to adjust. Oh, it's so annoying. So... If I put a little bit of fuel in, we can make it on fuel. No problem. But I can't drive the damn car. And it's just like one click of fuel is just murdering the handling of this car. I don't understand it at all. And I'm sure the setup is just completely broken anyway. So I'm going to just have to hope that we uh, get a caution or two. And uh, I do like watch this. I'm going to go out and qualify and the car is going to drive completely different. Just gonna qualify with full fuel because honestly, it doesn't matter. Well, maybe it's not gonna drive completely different. Maybe we just had a lot of extra rubber in the practice session. And I'm just gonna be spinning out no matter what. Do the brake bias forward. Oh my god. Okay, well, I just can't drive now. We're going to be starting in the back. What is happening? The car has just completely changed. It's not good. I'm going to be the cautions. Um... Drop that a tiny bit. Let's go ahead and that in. Okay, well, now it's, it's fine because I lowered the track bars. So let's go see if that's helped me out any. I apparently the practice session a lot more grip. Flag 
flag, chicken flag. All right, there we go. All of a sudden, I can keep the car under me a bit. 19.397, my best is like a 19.2. Where would a 19.3 have put us? Up front. We're just waiting on uh, Tracy and Mitch, and it looks like Tracy's falling out. And Tracy has dropped. Mitch is going to start in the rear with us. So we're just all going to be a mess in the back. This is going to be an interesting one. Got a ways to go. A um, lot of slower traffic to get through as well. Tracy should be able to get a lap in just about. Yeah, this this is going to be an interesting one. Let's see who's the bigger mess in the back, I guess. But uh, I've not helped my safety rating out for sure. 2x in practice, 1x in qualifying. I know that it's lighter weights, but never helps. So we got a ton of fuel now because my fuel usage has went down so much because I'm so slow. And it looks like Tracy's not qualifying, so all of us are starting in the back to be a mess, and who knows how it will go. So we got Tracy, Mitch, myself, and Harley in the back, and uh, paint's perfect, so I've got to do that. All right, well, a win for us will be a top five. Anything less will be a failure on my part due to qualifying and being terrible. And Tracy. I believe is now starting from the pits or fell out. Catch up, ten, come. Not good for him. I don't see him on the pit screen or on the F3, so I'm gonna assume fell out. 
unless he needed to go change fuel because he just got back in. Most likely we're going to have a very early wreck from someone looping it on corner entry. One left to green. Or someone pounding the wall out of four. I will not be uh, trying to win this thing immediately. Just going to take our time. We got 80 laps. And a very difficult car on a very difficult track. People will be making mistakes, so. Pace car is off. Green, green, green. And they are already wrecking, so that's one spot. And the eight and the one, or is that a seven? Go into the wall. Okay, maybe a top five is a little too easy, but we do have to hold off Mitch. What a start. Oh boy. And the number three causes the first wreck. Although the seven and eight were looking like they were about ready to wreck each other, so... We are now in fifth place. And I'm carrying a lot of dragging, and that's not good, but higher pressures need to come up. That was an exciting start, and third place has now entered the pits. So we are in fourth. I guess I got an interesting race at least. Mitch is being patient with us. I've got a... He's starting on the outside. Seven car completely blew the first corner. So, a little afraid of what's going to happen there. But at least I didn't spin out yet. That is to come. Is Tracy. Tracy is on the lead lap in 13th, so... Must have started from the pits instead of falling out. So, Thomas, best lap up. Really wish it was single file. One to go. Next time by. Can't we go back to the, the old days? All right. Well, let's just hope that the seven does not make the same mistake this time. Otherwise, we're just going to get sandwiched into the wall. Get ready, going green. We got the three car who self spun right behind us. Post car is off, time to do your job. Eleven does green, not green, go. Green, You're in fourth position. Thirty-seven point two two five. Car inside. Still there. Let loose. Get pass done. Settle in here. Uh, see if there's a way around the 11. Who is coming off the corners? Kind of turn on left three, off the corners. Take our time. This guy is scary. And I don't believe he's just going to pull over. And we're 
just gonna do a little slide job there. And hopefully clear him now. Well, that was a journey. We'll let the three go if he catches up to us, because there's no point in trying to hold him off if he's quicker. I just need to settle in and figure out what this car is going to do on a long run. Got him around us. And now, we just drive the car, figure out where it's going to go, if it's going to get too tight, too loose, if I'm going to drive into walls on straightaways, and if I can hold Mitch off. I feel like later the car should be a little quicker. But there was no catch in King. He's just quick. And the three car was up there before he spun. I don't know if it was a self spin or if the 11 got him or what, but. I mean, we're in third after being terrible and not getting a lap in and qualifying. And I'm running a Stafford set that was made off a five flag set, so I can be happy with where I'm at. Good on fuel. Recar is struggling for grip on entry. Looks like he's kind of overdriving entry and sliding around quite a bit. But you may want to do that since this car tightens up over a long run. It's one thing I always struggle with is starting it off loose enough. Okay, that was something. Never had anyone just do a half barrel roll in front of me from hitting the wall. He uh, definitely did not know how to be a lap car though. Held the three up way more than he should have. But the good news, um, none of these wrecks have been from us coming up through the field. Mitch and I have been fairly patient, although my slide job on the 11 wasn't all that patient, but it really didn't mean to be one. Luckily, he didn't just boot us. Car seven, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Letter 7, Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Yeah, I can't believe that we've gotten up here this quick, and looks like Tracy has vanished again, possibly. Maybe caught up in something, or maybe just uh, gave up. feeling okay. We definitely don't have the speed, but it's not getting tight like it normally does. I'm sure it will, though. I know it got pretty tight at Stafford, but maybe with the extra banking here, that will help it. Since we have a little more stagger than I would normally put in it. So, uh, at the moment, with Tracy out, it looks like either a third or a fourth, and well, three cars starting to blink now, so. 
Maybe we luck into something. I'm just glad we made it through the field. Harley's back in seventh place in the six car. Yellow one back there. One left to green. Line up on the inside. 42.654. I think the only high-powered cars that I've raced here are the Sprint Car, Silver Crown, and Tour Mods, and Sprint and Silver Crown definitely are a completely different beast, and the Tour Mod just has way too much tire. This is a whole different challenge here with these. Pace car is off. Not worried about Mitch getting around us. If we're quicker than him, we'll pass him. And he might burn off his right front. We don't need to go any faster than uh, everyone behind us. Just kind of save our stuff. Run, run a nice smooth line and hope that we don't put it in the wall or self-spin. Everyone else is a bit off pace behind us. We need to stay a little bit higher in the corner. I have a hard time doing that. I always tend to cut down on exit, and it's getting this car pretty loose. on something that's just a few clicks off the baseline. I'm on something built for two different tracks. Looks like though, kinda like Zafford, Mitch is maybe a little slower on uh, the long run. I can't tell if he's loose or tight. I haven't seen much movement out of his car. I think he's kind of dealing with the same thing I am. All we gotta do is just go fast enough to be near him. Put it in the wall and break our toe and camber and make it not turn. Side behind us. The eight after pitting, getting around the eleven. The eight might be our speed. He put it in the wall on the start, which is why I think he pit. Mitch is struggling with being too tight. Center of corner, he's uh, having to really stop it to get it to rotate down.
lap traffic coming up for the leaders. Pulls down out of the way. Not even to halfway yet. We don't need to make a move or try to make a move on Mitch. 2.6 back to the 8. And we get a yellow, so we get a start on the outside anyways. We got someone backwards. Feel good though. I feel like we're quicker than Mitch, so uh I'm gonna go for it on this restart. Try to get ahead of him. Just wondering if he was gonna go in and try to make any changes to it. Got the lucky dog. He's ahead of us though. So yeah, I'm really not, you know, if I get on the gas a little too early on exit, I have to put too much wheel in it and it's kind of snapping. It's not rotating loose, it's kind of push loose where I'm trying to keep it off the wall and then it snaps on me a bit. Yep, I figured he was going to go try some changes. So... I'm not not too worried about well now we have nothing to worry about unless the eight car is all of a sudden crazy quick. But yeah, I think we are in Pretty good shape to get a third, even if Mitch works his way back up here. He's probably gone in to loosen it up, since he was fighting tight at Stafford. Closed. Pit road is closed. He's going to have not very many lead lap cars to go through. Oh, well, no, he's in ninth, so it's... Uh, gonna be very easy for him to get kind of slowed down and trapped there. I'm gonna go a little harder on this restart just to make sure the aid doesn't sneak by us on the outside because, I mean, if he's quicker, I'll let him go, but I was trying to let the three have some space to get in, and Mitch just blew past us because the three got a good start. One to go, next time by. Line up on the inside. 42.292. Seven car, I keep seeing it. I'm thinking Ryan's in it. Alright. Let's get a good start here. Hold on to third. And... Hopefully go to the end. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Go. Good start. Settle in. Settle in here. Settle in here. Settle in here. Settle in here. Get us a long green run. about him at the moment. We'll see where he is at the end of this run, if we get a long run. Mitch has already made it up to fifth.
that push. All right. Move the brakes back a little bit. Stop driving in so hard. Let the car turn itself down. We just don't have the rotation to try to drive it around on the outside. Hard off the corner. So, just back down the middle of the corner and then we won't get that super tight. Now we got a caution. Luckily Mitch hadn't got around the 8 yet. like Harley was in that one. Deep road's open. Mitch is not making any more adjustments. He's much quicker on the uh, short run than us, I think. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. But uh, the good news is he's got to start behind us, and we should be able to clear the eight again. Let the nine car by. I just can't, I can't do what I just did on that run and overdrive the start of it because the car definitely did tighten up more, um, putting way more pressure on the right front and uh, it was starting to, to go into the wall. So we are not going to do that again run the groove that no one's been running, some cooler tires, and uh, get another start. Gets us ahead of the eight. Hope Mitch isn't able to get by him. Closed, pit road is closed. It's a pretty good combo though. It's definitely one that makes you drive and stay on top of the wheel. And this car already does, but with Thompson's unique corners and uh, little dips and bumps on entry, it's uh, adds a little bit extra to this car. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. 42.442. I've been starting in first. No, I think I've been starting in second, haven't I? Ready, going green. I'm not going to spin the tires up. Ice car is off, be ready. Green, green, green. Bench is gonna clear him. Kinda half went down low so Mitch couldn't drive it in deep and get under us. Hold him up on the inside of the guy for a moment. Alright, no more cautions. We don't need Mitch on our outside. And let's just drive our race here, let the car turn itself.
leaders are definitely getting loose off the corner while we're struggling to get it to turn. That's that bit of uh, track bar change that we made that tightened us up a bit so that I could actually turn a lap. But I was not going to be able to pedal that early, plus the fuel burn off. But, you know what, maybe they get into each other, maybe one of them makes a mistake and uh, we get a cheap win. I don't think Mitch has got anything for us. He may be exactly the same speed as us, but that's not going to get him past us. The only thing that will is another restart and he gets a good jump on the outside. Tight there. Yeah, we're getting bad shadows now as the sun sets. Weird things happen when uh, terrain self shading at sunset, which is why you get the big black spot there. Mitch is catching us. Not concerned. He's pushing it much harder than us, I think. He's pushing it hard off the corner. I'm driving at about 70% at the moment, just trying not to put it in the wall or break loose or overdrive. I don't know if I even tried harder if we'd go faster or not. Hopefully we don't have to find out, but if he gets too close to us, I'll pick it up. the nose really bad on entry there. We were too low. Lap car's been getting out of the way pretty well. He does again, so that's good. Start entering higher, turning down off the corner. Let's see if we can pull away from Mitch. No yellow flag. We don't need him to have a chance on restarts because he is way more aggressive on restarts than we are.
Lots of traffic ahead for the leaders. is pretty easy. We've pulled out 0.4 seconds on Mitch. side and then once it wants to start turning down let it got went into the corner and the guy was there and then he got stuck behind the a pillar and he shouldn't have been behind the a pillar anymore i knew he was by the wall i didn't know if he was all of a sudden going to be stopped it just dropped way off I am going to take this nice and careful. No need to get tangled up in these lappers. Especially since the 9 car kind of seemed to be holding a high line when it looked like he was caught. Yeah, he's not going to just pull over and he's going to take a really wrong line. And we're not going to get wrecked. It doesn't matter how much we lose by or how much we beat Mitch by. I'm just not going to get involved in this because like most of these guys have wrecked once already. So. Thankfully, Mitch screwed up somewhere back there. We got a big gap to him. And there we go, in third place. We beat Mitch again in the super late models, but he uh, was struggling with some right, tightness, I think. Flag. Great job, you did really well. So, I feel good about that. I think I managed the race well, and be interesting to see what these tires are. I'm going to say that it's a bit too tight. Let's take a look and see. 90-88. Alright. I'm good with that. Um, did not expect that. It's a uh, pitch. See if he was uh, way harder on the right front. And, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go take a look at what we got. What all happened out there? I even forgot about that. So, I mean, we did a decent job making it uh, up through the field. The 9 was really slow on the start. The 12 self spins on the start. Go into the corner, nice and easy. The eight and the seven and the ten go up to the wall. I don't have any idea. So we get three spots right there. Well, actually, four spots right there because with Tracy falling out, we got to start beside Mitch instead of back behind him. And then uh, we go up to. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Well, 
let's go see what caused the three to spin. Oops. Oh, he just looped it himself. So, um, yeah, self-spinning setup shop. Tracy, who is... <laughs> is that where he just gives up? Tracy. Reckon under caution. I'm sure he was frustrated with everything going on for him falling out and not getting a lap in. Maybe he was going to start in the back anyways, but... Let's uh, go take a look. I was so worried about this right here. Go see. That lap. Go. Yeah, I mean, it really wasn't a slide job. We drove it in. We drove it down. I, I guess I did slide up a bit. But I, this place is so hard to get an exit on the bottom. And I just kind of felt like we had cleared him. So, yeah. We got lucky there that he didn't run us over. Could have been very easily ran over. Seven car loop in it. Heading into the inside wall, which looks like it hurts a lot. A lot of earth behind it. That one ain't moving. Nine car, hard into the wall on the outside. Tracy and... The eight gets loose off the corner, and Tracy was not ready to slow down at any point there. And into the inside wall. It's got left side damage as well. Did he get the left side damage? Not there. Let's, let's figure this mystery out. The restart. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't see this. And the 14 and the 10, and the 10 just comes up and clobbers him. All right, his car was not driving well after that, I bet. He's not having a good time. Oh, don't break on me. Damn it. It broke on me. Got too impatient. Gotta be a way to fix that, right? Go to controls and take a look at what the other. Uh, let's go control four. Okay, three. No, it's broken. Well, that sucks. I guess we will just uh, go to the caution lap. See what happened. Although I think we probably already. No, oh. oh. Oh, this is the dude that uh, flipped. Maybe we'll be able to see it the whole way. Yeah, I think the game kind of decided it didn't know where he was at. He drives it up into the wall, flips it. That'll be the thumbnail, right? So once it patches in what actually happened, um, then you get to see it. So there's that wreck. Let's go to this one. We're still struggling, and what do we got going on here? So, 13 drives it in. Yeah, six comes down. Harley comes down there. The racing hard, side by side. And then my is a big dive by the 13, but that's the wrong line anyways that Harley was using on entry, so shouldn't shouldn't have even really been down there. At most, should have just been door to door contact. Uh, all right, so we're on lap 38 and. Then we go to around 
here and this time just not clear there's a little prediction code but even if there wasn't the contact was going to happen and i i think he was trying to keep it down but yeah and that is more damage to the car. All right, then we go to. We have a long run after that. All right, cool. I didn't know we had that long of a run there, but yeah, it was just running for or nineteen sixes, then decided to pick it up nineteen fives, and then we got to that lap traffic. So, let's take a look at results. We're going to gain 24i rating, gain 10 safety rating, get a third place. Way off on the uh, fast pace, but I mean, for a setup that was originally built for five flags that I tweaked for Stafford and then put a click of fuel and lowered the track bar, not bad, right? So, no incidents, clean race. Back of the field, not so much. So, single split racing. Always going to happen. Hopefully, you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.